Okay guys, what you want to do is you want to navigate to popcorntime.io Just go to Google and search popcorn time uh, Once you click on the download, you want to save the download And depending on where you save the file um, By default, on my computer at least, it's saving to the downloads folder But wherever that is for you, navigate to that directory Locate the popcorn time um, archive and then you want to extract that archive uh, once it's done extracting um, you can go ahead and open up that directory just make sure you know everything is okay um, in terms of Ubuntu you want to open up a terminal just hit control alt T and the terminal will open and you want to change your directory to the folder uh, that we just opened so that'll be in my downloads and then the popcorn time folder. And you want to execute this install script. And all you have to do is just put a period forward slash install. If that doesn't work, put bash and then a space and then period forward slash install and then this will come up. And then all I'm doing right here is just I'm typing in the I agree so it can install the files that it needs. Okay, now if everything went smoothly and everything was correct, then you should be able to uh, locate the Popcorn Time application in your dashboard. And as you see here, once it starts up, you accept their agreement. It'll load everything that, uh, it'll load stuff from the servers. Um, once everything is loaded and you see the Popcorn Time um, icon over here on the left, you can lock that to the launcher so that way in the future you don't have to go through the dashboard and locate the the popcorn time application. All right, so here we're going to go through the steps of actually creating the .desktop uh, launcher file. And this is just in case uh, when you install the application, like if it doesn't install correctly. And I actually had to do this um, in order to get the popcorn time application to open because before it would just open up a... a uh, like a web browser JavaScript file or something. So what I'm typing here is all I did was I just typed in the uh, sudo nano and then the name of the file that I want to, you know, edit or create. If it's not there, it's going to create it for you. And all, what you want to do is you want to make sure uh, that your entry looks like this. The only thing that you're going to change is where it says exec equals and icon equals. And these are going to be... Uh, to the directory of the download uh, in the download folder and the popcorn time folder that we extracted and <clears throat> what you want to do is pretty much just copy the the parent directory of the popcorn time application as well as the icon so as you see here I pasted that in and we're going to just make some edits where we take off this file colon forward slash slash and we're going to just keep it uh, as this and once you do that, make sure you include the actual popcorn time uh, application where it's popcorn time dash or it's popcorn dash time. And then the icon is in the same directory, but it's just popcorn time dot png file. And if you're using nano, then all you want to do is just write out. So you do control O, enter. And then once you hit enter, you're going to uh, <clears throat> do control X to exit. And now we're going to change um, some file permissions on it and just type in sudo chmod a plus x and then the name of the desktop file for popcorn time. And once you do that, um, you're going to delete uh, some of the files that it creates uh, during the install. So go to the dot local or actually before you do that, when you're in your home directory, hit control h to actually see the hidden files and then you want to navigate to the local folder and then you want to delete uh, the uh, the application within the application folder and then go to the share folder and then delete the icon and then once you're done with everything in order to get everything to update uh, just make sure you restart your machine and then everything should be good to go the next time you go to your your menu you'll be able to execute the correct popcorn time well thanks for watching and hope this was an informative video